Hey everyone, it's another game here for the Stanley Cup Playoffs, and this is the last game in Game 5. And so right now, this one all has to close out for the last part of the games in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. We have the Edmonton Oilers and the Los Angeles Kings back at Crypto.com Arena. Series is tied for in between the runs of the 2-2 two and two scores for the Kings and Oilers. This is very tough for to find out who will take the winning lead series in the game. And there might be another way to try to hold out on the run and stop the run from going from the attackers. This really has to say when to be in between the range, to when to take the lead, not win or go home, because that that's not it, because that's not the one where we we're going for. And we really have to find out who is gonna try to make the next win. Well, you may never know. I mean, this could be tough for to be honest. And now for the next commentary for the final game in game number five, I will have the next one up as OJ will be here for the main commentary along with me, phone four, and the center ice will be along the way, nickel. So it's time to send things over down to crypto.com arena and let's give it off a run. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the last game of game five. Kings, Oilers, ready for the face-off. Hello everyone, OJ here along with Meatbone and Nickel. This is the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Opening face-off for Game 5 is underway. Puck is dropped and we are all set. The courtesy lineup is being here as follows. We have his Connor McDavid. Then it's Anderson right towards the right side. Then it's Drew Downey. Over on the backhand side, we have his Adrian Kemp. Then we have his then we have his Anze Kopitar. Across the back here we have uh, right around the uh, Kane is Evander Kane. Then around the angle is Byfield. Now it's Hyman with the puck. Then we have his Kane back the other way. Anderson has the puck. Kopitar has it swinging up here across here in a in a Kings territory to Oilers territory. And on the starting goaltender is Skinner. Skinner is one of the bestest part of the players here. After playing for Jack Campbell, he wasn't able to try to make that game in there. He really has it all encountered out there. And because you know, it was a very hard one to try to maintain expression. All because of him, he was really into it. Now they're ready to get this thing on the face-off run. No score yet in the first period as we are underway in Crypto.com Arena. Stacy's got him along the board. Gives it off to Nugent Hopkins. Dan Dreisaitl has the puck. Yamamoto right toward the wing. Who's the slot? Carl Pasola with the saving of the glove save catch. That's your starting goaltender for game number five. Orenson has the puck here now, swinging over to Roy. Roy's in there with a win. He fires the puck right over to Fiala. Over to Arvidsson. Arvidsson getting a little bit of whipped around her already, trying to get the lost puck out of it. It's close because you're definitely going to need that one in there. And because this was very not that easy to maintain its pressure, they were really on a hard trouble run to make that one play. With that one, they already had tied a series up. And this was a harder play because the, the Kings are trying to make a win. But it wasn't in clear enough because they were really, really taking it over. And that was just the harder that they had played. Roy pass to Gavrikov. With the shot, stopped by Skinner. Hold the puck here with 16 minutes to go in the first period. Now they're ready to do this one again. Now he wins the puck, Bouchard, right toward the back of the net. Out of the cage is Bouchard. Back home, right towards the, into the center. Now moves in the wing. Toward the Bouchard, out the top. Stopped by Corpusalo with a huge save. Bogo with the puck. McCoy, shot, two time stop. That tough one is very keeping an eyes out sight. Doesn't really have that much of a foul to make that advantage. I follow has one. Buck to Walker. Passes to Lizette. 
Lucetti, right over to dessert. Jersey. Back pass to Villardi. Villardi shot! He scores! Villardi! That's the fourth goal in the playoffs! Made that goal. That's when you call Villardi has that one in there. Already looking clear. He got a good angle. Right toward the crossbar, up and towards the corner. It was a harder shot that he had maintained it for Villardi. And Drew Dur and Sean Dursey really see that one that he was going to give this one a credit. Now the win. Here's Echo right to Kane. Try to close it on tight. Gets trapped up. Try to move it across over again to Kopari. He gives it off to Hyman with the, with the puck stuck. Now in the offense zone, finding look is Eckholm. McDavid right toward the wing. In the middle. Corpusala with a huge stop. Now sends back to Walker. Kalei on a fast break. Anderson Dolan right towards the wing of a corner of the offense zone. Nowhere to go for Kapari. Now here's McDavid. Get a little slip up already, but it's Kalei with the puck. Now it's Fiala. Fires it across for the net. Elko right towards the outside. McDavid has it over to Kane. Kane on the right side. Moving to middle. Stopped by Corpozola with the huge save. Dino has it now. Trying to get away with the, uh, the offense collision. But Fiala gets him a group. Out to Denault. Denault swings to Doughty. Up and over to Dino. Puck shot. Stop me. And we got a penalty call. This will have to be called a slashing call for the Kings. Orvidson's in the penalty box. This is not good for the Kings because this was happened and it didn't really buy it off. With that one in the call. Dreisaitl has the puck here and now has an offensive on the territory to maintain its run. He has a lot of his percentage out there. When he gets a little bit of a tape to take feet of his set, his set of the design, he has it all in encountered. The other team is very improving to be one of the legit, and it may be the next one to be improving on what they'll do. I'll be watching on Leon Dreisaitl to take over with the next play. Back to you guys. Kopitar will give it off to swing it ahead right towards the back of the net. Yamamoto gives it off to Stickman and right over to Hyman. Push around the man, try side all. Good stop, babe. And I follow. Gives it off to Kopitar, carries offside. Both teams are ready to get this in the neutral face off zone. The score the Kings have a 1 0 lead over Edmonton Oilers. One minute for the power play for the Edmonton. Troy Seidel stopped by Corbizolo. That puck is a great play of it but because you have to keep your eyes on the man to just try to like stay out of contact. It's very uh, interesting to maintain this sort of score. And you know, this wasn't the only thing that everybody really needs to keep on going. They like to do this one once more. Huge stop by Corpozolo. Chris Fiala will try to stick handle it. Down to 15 seconds for the power play for Edmonton. Looks like he's ready to get out of the penalty box and get on ice. Oilers come up empty handed for the power play goal of the night. And right now it switches over to full strength. They're very excellent D. A lot of courtesy to maintain its run. Arvidsson rarely knew this, but he had a slashing and he just made a slash on someone. They try to maintain the run. It's not what you're looking for, because that was a very hard one to try to take him by. Not a very tough sight, but it's just very not difficult to do it, to keep it going. Garber Carlin to Fiala. Swings it to Orbison. With one time shot, stopped by Skinner. Hyman towards the right wing. Right toward the middle. Corbisalo catches it and will hold the play with passing the mid period in the first. You saw that Corbisalo was beginning to catch. Very good play. Now they're ready to do the offense again. 
who still have a 1-0 lead for Los Angeles. Here's our call. With a shot, stopped made by Corpozalo. Kubertar, right to Kemp. We'll try to give it off the feed run. Bouchard, get caught up a little bit. Gavrikov right over again to Roy. Roy's on the outside. Off to Byfield. Shot! Stop made by Skinner. Skinner really into that pursuit. Granjic is a very between in the tricks. McDavid with the shot. Trying to put the rebound, but it was stopped again. Clock lost and goes misfires off the side. Kupari, no icing call. Shot stopped by Skinner. Addison Dole, trying to give it up the run. And Skinner got the puck right away. One timer didn't help enough because Skinner was right on it. Now you're enough to make that play interesting to make the better play, Vince. Los Angeles to make another huge step. They've never made it to the second round here at that time. And you know, this was a hard one to maintain it. Every time they have it all, they just wanted to keep it going. Well, <laughs> well, I guess that might be the only change. That might be a hard setup. With the score, it could be difficult to maintain. Dolan stopped by Skinner. We'll have to give a whistle off with 6.16 to go in the first period of the game. Here's the win, and Bouchard has it now. Stuck up in the corner is Velarde. Dowdy swings to Anderson, now swings to Dowdy. Dowdy to Anderson. No slashing call but yet for Edmonton. Edmonton's got the puck, now regrouping to Fogel. Fogel right toward the wing. Move around, man! A good stop saved by Fork from Chris Hollow. Shot stop made, and Velarde has it blocked out. Great play in the inbounding. They really need to keep that one going. And Drowdy has one. I fell right toward the right wing. Anderson on the outside. Swings off to Doughty. Doughty shot. Almost went in, but it was stopped by Skinner. Oh, close call. I think this was a very tough one to try to keep it out of the net. And Anze Kopitar will give it over with another run to help the team encouragement to get right into the next one. Here's our call, and right now, no face off call. Ryan gets a lot of it with a lot of a contact hit. Arvidsson toward the right side. Now swings over to Fiala. Fiala swings to Jersey, down right over to Walker. Walker on a rebound. Big save here by Skinner. Jersey wakes it Walker. Walker shot. Rebound up front. That's out of here. And Ryan has that puck here, ready to go in the offense zone. Move around the fast break. It's to go with the puck. Fires it around the net. The outlet right towards the puck, over to Null. Now Jersey in the other way by Savoy. The outlet right toward the right side. Roy swinging over again to Jersey. Move the puck again back to Fiala. Take the shot. Rebound right in front. Arvidsson stop me. That's a close call. They're really going to need to keep that one in pressure. And attention all, Andrew and Sandy fans. We've got a one way to get you in Los Angeles at the Sabian Media Center. We got your tickets experience for the BFDI and in Anime and Sandy. Join with us if you have the first season for the Anime and Sandy Invitational and the TPOT, the newest episode of Release Bit. That'll be the next one to retain the round. So you can get your tickets here, right here, at Sabian Media Center in LA. That's out of Crypto.com Arena right over here because that's not that's not totally close enough anywhere. But if you have the tickets down, I'm glad that you have it all. If you're not in LA, and if you're in New York, there's another show playing here for you at Gerald W. Lynch Theater. Just keep your eyes out there if you're looking for another round show to head off the deck. That's the next part of the shot of this game. And a show happening here for another one to make it tricky. If you have the tickets down here, go ahead and visit the website here at inanimatesanity.com slash tickets. 
tickets will be sold out once they are sold it and there's only screening only to get right into the into the theater. So make sure you get your tickets now. If you don't, you should go check it out. And you could be the next one here. Here's Kovatar, under 30 seconds left to play for the uh, first period. Anderson has the puck. He almost lost it, but still holds on. Curb shot! Stopped by Skinner. Rover to Fogo. Forjo. Make a round of move to make Lloyd. And nowhere to go. And that will do the first period. With a 1 nothing lead, they have Kings up front. Second period coming up after this. Period number two about to begin. And we are all set. As right now, the Anze Kopitar and their teams got a first one to take game for the goal, a one nothing lead in the first period. Now they're ready to do this one again in the second period. Here are the sole summaries of the game. How does it all turn out to be one of the better players there, Repo? Well, it's easy enough to say because a lot of players are getting regressions at this point. They really are seemingly trying to get this thing turned out. But they were all ready to maintain a score. The pressure, the harder he had. Not really too much to keep it over it, but it was very not tough to clear it out. And because of this one, the, uh, the play in the offense was a very tough on the slot. The angle, it's very uh, impossible to deny. Every two stories of the game can be a little bit challenging at this point for the Los Angeles Kings. They sometimes lost the game and they couldn't make it to the second to the Stanley Cup playoffs every other year. Only 2014 was involved because that was the only one that happened. Now they're ready to get the face off in. The score for Los Angeles has a 1 0 lead. Now here's Nurse. Swings to Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins towards the right wing. Buys outside of. Stop made by Corpozalo. Firing the puck around the net. And icing will be whistled on Los Angeles. That will be only 17.36 to go. Now they're ready to get the face off big. This score is still set in this game. We got a lot of heavy hits here. Now here's CC. Over to Yamamoto. Yala has the puck here now, swing it over again to Gurikov. Arvidsson with the puck. Fires it around the net, over again to Brian and Elt. And Elt swings to Roy. Now finds Gabrikov. Looking! Looking at Roy! Back again to Roy. Gabrikov right over the outside of the range, and now it finds Arvidsson. Back to the shot gets blocked. Richard Elk gets over to Dreisaitl. Now switch to CC. CC dry side of those out of here, and right now that they'll have to leave it up with no with no offside. Dry side on right toward the back of the net. Getting a little push out of it here. Malardi has the puck here now in the offense zone. Trying to give it out to Skinner, but it was not in time because now that was a little off the backhand of the puck. Now dry side has the puck. Swings off the nurse. Over to Nugent Hopkins. Shot stopped by Corpozolo. He's getting very good at this. Why well, watch out now because they are really into that pursuit. Who's it, Scott and Punk? Nightcander just went wide. Jambach right over to McLeod. Goes around the net. And Dursey has one. Los Angeles has the puck here as Walker takes it over to the Lizette. On fellow with the puck. Over to Calico. And good play by Fogel to take the puck away. It's easy to make that one here try to take away your puck because that was a very tough save to maintain its right. Right around the net, it's very difficult to keep it going. There you got a tough players in bounding. As Skinner is making a lot of huge saves, this bounding should have been keep on going. Now Dowdy has it to Anderson Dola. Over to Kalika. Kalia has the puck. Good smoke down, what a stop. Anderson Dola 
Shot gets blocked. And Evander Kane has one in the corner. Evander Kane in a cage. He finds Bouchard. Good spilt jet gear. And from Anderson Dolan. Anderson right to Kalea. Anderson Dolan has a right on the outside. Bogotar right toward the way. Kaya taking the puck over to Anderson Dolan. Finds Dowdy. Shoots! Stopped by Skinner! All they say was Skinner was making a move out of him. That's a very tough score to keep over it. One on one! With a shot, McDavid! He scores! And he ties the game! That's what Connor McDavid has. He's fast on wheels. That's what they have to call for. Wheels on chain. Yeah, I got a good replay of this one. Connor McDavid is really right around the man. Just putting a lot of a, a, lot of a head slick move here on Corbizalo. They really are seemingly are trying to get away with this. They have nowhere else to go. They really are starting to struggle a bit because they were really on an offense run. That's why that Connor McDavid was really right into the chain. I'll be watching him for the next part of the game to keep your eyes on. Guys, back to you. Hip shot! That goes off target. And he misfires it and the puck just leaves out of the net. Kopitar right, Kopitar right over again. Kemp battling for the loose puck and Kopitar has one. Skinner will have to wait from here after the puck and whistle bounce to get ready for the next face off. Now they're ready to do this one again. The score right now keeps it on going as it's now a tie game. And Bouchard has it. Here's Costin. Now I'll swing the puck. Off the glass. Gavrikov right towards the back of the net. The Kings have it now right into the offense zone picking up the speed. Shore takes it away and Ryan has it. Ryan over again to Shore. Shore to move! Good deflection here! Gavrikov. Roy trying to knock him off of him. Stopping the play about. Kobasalo saved! Passing the midway period. He holds on tight. That's what you call that one year for. Corpozalo, what a play. Here's EC. With the shot. Stop May by Corpozalo. Stopping the inbound day. And he scores. Back in the lead. Yamamoto. Put a deflection in and poke it in the net. It seems like that Yamamoto was trying to like ease it out. I was saying it because I was looking at the replay. It looks like he's poking it because that was a very tough inbounding. We really have never seen it coming along here because that was a very hard one to try to maintain its score. I don't say this, this wasn't the only play that everybody's going to be looking at because this was a very tough one. Harrison shot, shot by, by Skinner. Viola with the puck. Battling for the loose puck is Arvidsson. And backs broken up. Dreisaitl has the puck now over again to the, to the corner of the wall. Viola. Walker. Good move around here with a stick handle. Denault. Denault gets slammed. Dreisaitl right over to Nurse. Kenny a moment of the attacker right towards the right. Now denault has got the puck right in the offense zone. And he whistles offside on a call. It was only 8-1 to go. Now they're ready to take the time on pressure again. Oilers have the, have the one point advantage. It's a 2-1 lead in the second period. Now here's CC. He finds Hyman. Hyman swings to Nurse. Over again to Kane. With a shot stopped by Corbizalo. That play was very tough for Corbizalo because that was a very hard on the run. Trying to keep up on it tight. He fires it to Villardi. Villardi! And McDavid had it away. Trying to watch it for the deep. Poked it away. Trying to hold it for tight. And good stop play. 
and Lucette as one. Lucetti still holding the puck here, still no penalty call with the roughing. Hyman has the puck now into the offense territory, but here they come. Evander Kane in the wing. Coming in the middle. Here's this. Rebound stopped by Corpus Allo. Drew Dowdy has one. And pass broken up to I follow. Gets broken away. I follow will have the puck here. Here's Kopitar. Shot. Stopped by Skinner. A big save in motion drive. Boy on the outside. Look out! And a big stop. Oh, Skinner made that one a good diving release bit. Garakov take it down. Kemp repass sets the puck. Puck goes out of the net. The zone, I should bet. He gives it off to Kopitar. Offense saying, go Kings, go. And Byfield has one, now finds Roy. Off to Garakov. He shoots and gloves saved by Skinner. We'll hold the play with under 4 3 left to go in the second period. They are really trying to make their way pay off again. They really got to show them what they are going to do. They got to get this thing done. Now McDavid has a win. Bochard has one now. Here's Anderson Dola at the tie-in and stop again by Skinner. With a shot, and he says no. Anderson Dolan. Kayev has the puck here now, battling for the loose puck. Kupari right towards the outside. Pass gets broken up by Nugent Hopkins. Back away, Mikhailiev. Firing around the net. Anderson Dolan right towards the outside of the wing, and now into Kupari. Off to Walker. Walker shot. Rebound in front, stop again, and it's deflected off of Bouchard. Kupari resets again. That gets blocked by Bouchard. What a play and making of this save because they are really pressuring up on the offense because that was a very hard one to take. All that pressure's in on, they really are getting things right around the corner. Nugent Hopkins, blocked it away. Walker kicks it over again to Kayev. He sways to Denault. Denault getting out of here. Kayev with the puck. Denault has it now. Fires it to Dowdy. Anderson on the outside trying to make a move. He gives off to Fiala. Shot! Denault! Chalk blocked! Dreisaitl has the puck now right towards the offense side in the Kings territory. Now they're in the LA territory. Dreisaitl is your Hopkins, rejuck it away, but saved me by Corbisolo. Last minute of play in the second period, it is coming to a 2-1 lead, back-to-back -back switch. And they say this is very that typical. They have nowhere else to do this one right, because this was a very tough one to try to keep the puck out of here. The motion is not going to keep you coming, because this was very difficult to maintain a run on the offense side. McDavid has the puck. Now it goes offside. That goes on to Edmonton. If you're keeping your eyes on the NBA playoffs, we got game fives coming up here in just a few minutes here. But for tomorrow's game, that will be happening here right along the way. It will be the Sixers against the Nets at Wells Fargo Center, following along with the Lakers and the Grizzlies at back at FedEx Forum. Then around the angle in front of the other side for tonight's game will be the Bucks and Raptors at Pfizer Golf Forum. And finally, the last game of the first game in the, in the season will be turning the Golden State Warriors and the Kings. Well, that ends the second period, and we will be right back. Third period's coming up after the break. This is where it all comes down in the third period of the game. And we hope you enjoyed watching this part of the Game 5 competitions of the Eastern and Western Conference games. This is the toughest team that we all out there encounter on. The Edmonton Oilers are the better known team to play over from the Los Angeles and from the Los Angeles Kings playing at Edmonton. 
They're really a tough team. I, I have to tell you this one here, Roj, because this was a very tough matchups to bring on. Every time in a regular season, they always have ended up here with the Kings win here at home. But sometimes, on the other hand, they just wanted a rematch here for your next year's game. I know this wasn't that tough here, but, but just to be clear on that, that occasion was a very tough one to try to reach out for the group. I know it's tough, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta say this one to yours, it is a lot of heavy, heavy duty to maintain its way. This play drill by Anderson now will swing the puck over to Doughty. Doughty shot! Stop again here by Skinner. Skinner with a good movement out there, just keeping it right on the puck target line to make that one clear. Kopitar will try to regroup on outside, and now he's inside the zone. Firing the puck around Kemp. Kemp battling for the loose puck. Byfield on the outside now finds Anderson. Anderson shot! Puck saved by Skinner. We'll hold the puck with only 17-13 to go in the third period of the game. Glad centers glided in from a center right of the uh, neutral zone to face-off zone. There is a one-point lead. Right now, Edmonton Oilers have a two-to-one lead. Here's Cece. He sways across to Yamamoto. Finds Dreisaitl. The Edmonton Oilers are pushing P. Inult with the puck rejection. Goes right around the net. Biala has one. Takes a shot. Stop here by Skinner. Rebounding the puck here again. Dreisaitl takes it over. In the attacking zone, now facing over again to Fiala. Howling for, our, for the neutral face-off zone attack. Little bump-up squish as Fiala gets the puck. Fiala lost the puck. Try final shot! Stop here by Corpusalo. And we'll hold the puck with just under 16 to go to have that play inbound. Well, is it for you or is it just for, for the players that you're talking through? Well, well, I don't have to complain about that. Bouchard blocked the shot. What a play by I follow. Now that's a good defensive to take the run. I follow. Oh, Skinner got him right away. He took it out of here. That's what you do. You never mess with Skinner. You just really just keep your eyes on steady. Roy moves around the puck. He passed to Malardi. Pass broken up. Nugent Hopkins right to the neutral zone in the offense zone. Makes a move in front. A shot stop made by Corpusalo. Villardi moving over to the right hand. Tries to give it up and McCloy with that puck. Yamamoto right towards the offensive wing. McCloy! Barakov with the puck. Now breaks to Anderson Dolan right to the other side. Fires it around the net. Villardi trying to regroup it. And Bouchard got him away. Echo swings over to Jamar. Oilers firing around the other way. Los Angeles gains the puck here right towards the offense zone in now to the Oilers territory. Echo will have the puck now over to McCloy back to the Los Angeles territory. To Fogel. Good glove save by Corbisolo. Puck gets rejected. Pochard, and it's Adola makes a good poke check on Jersey. John Marks got up across into the neutral zone. Making a move in front. Corpus on a big stop. That's a catching releasement. Just keep it on going. McDavid's got the puck. New line changing as McDavid still has one. Pocho around him. One around the open over the net, and now it's right towards the crowd. After it goes out of play, right toward or over the goal net, it is still a 2-1 lead for Edmonton Oilers. Dunal wins the faceoff. Now Downey will stick it over again to Fiala. He carries on to over to Anderson. Arvidsson, I should say. And now Anderson, then Downey. Downey shot! Trying to get a good deflection here, but it's stopped again by Skinner. The other man was covering him right away. He doesn't want that because if he deflects it, then they knew they were going to be in trouble. Arvidsson towards the middle. To the pass! Can't get it to go here and now they will have to reset it towards the offense zone right to Downey. 
11 minutes to go in the third period. Dumelt swinging over. McDavid has it out. All the fast wheels. Corbisella will hold the puck and will get ready for the faceoff coming up. Both players are set, ready to take the faceoff in the offense zone. McDavid wins it. Clogged it out by Corbisello. Kemp gets bumped down. Here's Kopitar. Races to the net. Shoots. Stopped by Skinner. Oh, that Skinner going to be out there all night long. Anderson will hold the puck now. Goes to Byfield. The Kings regain their group in the offense zone in the Oilers territory. Kick the puck pass. Kemp's got it now. Trying to pull it back the other way. And no man had the advantage. Hyman towards the outside. Passes the midway period. And pass broken up. Walker's got it now. Right towards the offense zone to pick up Steen. Walker! And he would have had that one called. Byfield. Move around the man. Steen scores! We are tied! This calls the Byfield. They are just answering the call. Let him live. I saw that Quinton Byfield was making the round of move. And just like you see this save regular season just like that, he just went around the and goalie and just got it in there. That Quinton Byfield is putting a team to tie this game up. They are moving like they're legit. They're just going right towards the offense zone and they are doing it to keep it going. This tough team will never stop. They will get another call to give this one a good run off ability to turn it up and make the heat pressure alive. I'll be watching on Quentin Byfield for another part of the play. Back to you all. Guy up right to Dursey over again to Walker. Walker shot! Trying to make a move and it's stopped again by Skinner. Yamamoto right turned the offense wing. Now Walker has it out there, now swings over across to Kapari. Edmonton regaining the group. Yamamoto in the center. Trying to take it to action D. Now he gives it over to Velarde. Goes right to a crease. Anderson Dolan has it right around the back. Over to Roy. And pass broken up. Nugent Hopkins with the puck with only seven minutes to go. Now finds Velarde. Villardi passes the blue line. Pass inside! And he scores! Villardi! That's two in a row! They are getting away! And now back in the lead. If you look at Gabe Villardi has that one. He was given a pass. But what happened? There's a deflection right to Skinner. I didn't see what was happening. And it didn't really seem that... Villardi was going to try to hit that goal and give it off to Anderson Dolan. Mm. <laughs> well, that was my play rule. That's a little weird on that one because Roy had an assist. I didn't even see it, what was going to happen next. If Villardi gets his third goal, he's going to get the third hat trick of a night. Here he goes! Oh, stop away by Skinner. Villardi swings to Garakov right over to Roy. Try to mull a pack. Passes to Garakov. Takes a shot, left safe by Skinner. Now Cece will gather the puck right around the end. With 5.43 to go. Now Forgel, left save on the other way by Corbisalo. He gives it out to Lozette. Fires it around the net. Villardi still holding it on to try to keep it out. Janmark right to McLeod. McLeod over to Forgel. Trying to make a move in front. To Mark shot. And good stats kicked away for Corpusolo. And Lozette has it right around the, the corner. Still didn't want to take a chance out there. Dowdy right towards the outside of the way. And K to tie the game. He scores. Ties the game. Evander Kane. The fast break and ready to do it again. That payback is going to take it over. Evander Kane, not this time. 
I am going right through the net and beat the player right around the net. Odd Man Rush, Evander Kane. Wow, they're still not done yet. They are still going. McDavid shot stopped by Corbizolo. Here's Fiala right towards the outside of a wing. Passing along to Arvidsson. Still have a lot of time left. Elko right towards the back, and now McDavid has it in cover. To the lead! And Corpusello's glove save. We'll hold the puck with under 3.30 to go. And returning into the NBA playoffs, we got the next game coming up for you. We've got the Sixers and the Mets. Back at Wells Fargo Center. Following along with another game that will be happening here back in Denver. At Ball Arena. That will be the Nuggets and the Timberwolves. And across from the other angle on the other side as we go back right towards tonight's game of the Bucks and Raptors at Pfizer Dub Forum for tonight's game. And same thing going with the other team. But now it will be another look. So it will it will not be Memphis because we will hold on to the second day. But we will do, we will keep your eyes tuned for the NBA playoffs. If you're still watching it right now, go ahead and watch your device. If you don't, Download the NBA app, or TNT, or ESPN, and you can catch one of the games all night long. And the final game will be the Warriors and the Kings at Golden 1 Century. That will be happening here after the Stanley Cup playoffs in game number 5. Byfield still has it around it, and Kemp still making the game. Roy still needs to find someone with an open look. They have to keep switching it. And they're still going! Looking! Looking! Takes the puck around! Highfield! Over again to Roy! To Govercom! Madison Center! Shoots! Stopped by Skinner! McDavid towards around the other end. We're down to a final minute of play in the period. Here's Bochard. Bochard swings over to Kane, now looking towards the offense zone. Pass to McDavid! Shot stopped by Corbazolo. Fiala, hello! Oh, that's a smash one. They are just going out of here. I don't even know what's the point of this, but this is a tough one to make a desirable play. Now Fiala, right towards the offense side. Trying to make a move out of it. And smashes across towards the end. Uchard's got it now. Elko the other way. Dry sidle with the puck. Trying to poke it away. Denault! I follow penalty call. They're going to get a power play, and that will be the end of the third period. But they may not be enough to do a, to another power play goal in the third period because it is coming down the wire very fast. And Ryan Nugent Hopkins is in the penalty box. That's going to be a hard one to declare. The power play is on for the Los Angeles Kings with seven seconds to go. Now he's to go. Dorsey! Oh, Skinner on it right away. Now they still have a lot of time. The fans are going wild. You know, to win it! Oh, so close! That was close call, but he just couldn't make that goal. Well, as you can tell, Skinner, he is already on fast run. And overtime will be next when we come back after the break. Well, it is a fantastic night as we all call for back-to-back -back scores in the game. As you may know that the Los Angeles Kings are just making its way right towards its run to lead ahead with the series. But Edmonton Oilers say they want more. Well, there might be one thing without Campbell, and it might be the one place that Skinner might have it all. Well, as you can tell that one, the ranging of his sight. Evander Kane was the only one person that just got a goal right towards it and ties the game up. That's the part that you have not seen how he was making a breakout and a change of a score. And I follow when I have that winning goal, but it was very too hard to make the wrist shirt right towards the shot. That was very difficult to maintain from its way right down pressure. And a line out there, we get started for overtime. 
as right now the Kings still have a power play with only 7 seconds left. If they don't get a power play goal, then they'll be back to even strength. If they get a power play goal, they will have it up and they will end the game in overtime. That means no questions of how long will it take. And now, let's get things going. Overtime begins now. And we are all set. Overtime Hockey of Stanley Cup Playoffs is about to start. And here we go. Red play continues with the power play for the Kings. Here's McDavid. He flies across right towards the back of the wall. Here's Kemp right towards the other side with 90 seconds for the power play. Kemp has it now. Looking to Kopitar. That gives it away and now it swings the puck back. Now swings up across again. Now he swings to Kopitar. Kopitar on the wing. To pass to Fiala. Fiala finds Dowdy on the outside. Gets roosted by McDavid. Forjo with the puck now going in the other end. Try to, try to make a collision here. Good stop made. And Kopitar still has one. He's all alone! With the win! He scores! Game winner! Kopitar wins the overtime in game five. And say Kopitar, what a play motion! And that overtime, friend, is a leadoff. Successful motion for Anze Kopitar. That shot, it was right toward around Skinner. And there you have it. That's why that Kopitar wins the overtime. We all have to salute our fans. Thanks for us all, for everyone. We love that the Kings really made their way onto the victory run and looking for a chance to make a win series over Edmonton and Canada for Game 6. Well, as we're being said right now, OJ along with me, Phone, and Nickel. This has been a presentation of a Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thank you for joining with us, and see you next time. On to Centipedes! All right, OJ, thank you so much. Anze Kopitar receives his overtime winner of the goal in the third star. Then the second star goes to Evander Kane with a goal assist and two hits. On a fast break chain to tie the game and made that in. And your first star goes out to one and only Gabe Velarde. Two goals as made. Could have got three of them if you want to have that one in there. That would be great. But as are being said, the game of Game 5 has already been concluded. Here are the total statistics of how they did here on Game 5 setups. 44 shots on goal for the LA Kings. Edmonton Oilers with 41. 16 hits for Edmonton and 2 for Kings. 14.59 was the time on attack for the Kings and 4.28 for Edmonton Oilers. 92% for the passing for the Oilers and then 78% for the Kings. Faceoff wins was 22 and 12. Two minutes in between Edmonton and the Kings, and a power play goal comes in for the LA Kings to beat it over for the overtime winner. And with the power play minutes, two minutes for Edmonton, and 133 for the LA Kings. So I guess that wraps it up for Game 5, and now we will be sending you back to NBA Playoffs. Keep your eyes for the next one coming up tomorrow for the game only on Son of Beast. Thanks for watching, and peace out everyone for us a while as the... NHL Stanley Cup playoff on EA Sports style. Got a little mumbles. A little stumble on that one. Just made it clear. <laughs> Just fixing it right away. All right, folks. I know what you're thinking. It's time for you all to take some rest and enjoy your life. Well, I'm out of here. Sonic Beast is out. You can find me on my social medias. Discord will be coming soon. Peace out, and don't forget to subscribe. If you don't, somebody will. Thank you, and good night in Los Angeles, along with Edmonton. See you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.